What is up, awesome people, and welcome back to another Baby Jake Thursday. So I kind of have to admit that Pokemon Sun and Moon, upon its release, did kind of kill this series for a while. But at the same time, I do have to kind of confess as well, I kind of made Thing with Jinx Thursday so I could do trading card openings. It's kind of a bit of a guilty pleasure of mine opening up card games, uh, all these Pokemon trading cards of mine. It's like a kid on Christmas Day. It's just so glorious, so fun, so it makes me so giddy inside. I don't know why, it's just always been something I've really enjoyed. So I decided to bring it back to the channel for, um, doing this type of thing. So this will ha go alongside the nanoblocks when that finally returns. And at the same time, I do have to kind of do a bit of a throw out saying that I have changed my equipment slightly for doing these type of videos. So if you can kind of notice, there is a brand new microphone recording this. So it's not my usual microphone, which is why some things may sound a bit different in that department. And also on that topic as well, the reason why there's no plastic on this, normally when I do card openings, I leave the plastic on, is because the mic kind of shat itself already, so that that's great. So anyways, I haven't opened this yet, which is great. So hopefully I don't get any more issues when I'm recording this video, so... Hope! Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, that's all I can say. So anyways, this is kind of like a lunchbox uh, chest. This came out during the Oris period. I think when Oris first came out, this is when it happened. So it's got some really cool things on it. So if I can zoom out, which I can't do, unfortunately, I'm at max zoom out. So you can see it's got Kyogre on it. Then if you swap it around, if I can get me focus going, we've got a Primal Kyogre on there as well. And I think on the other side, like, you can also see you got energy card, the, sorry, the energy's on there. So you got your grass, fire, water, uh, lightning, psychic, steel, fighting, dark, steel, fairy, and dragon. And then on the other side as well, you've got your primal grout on. So it is a really cool looking chest or lunchbox. And of course, how can you forget your, your starters from the uh, Hoenn region there? So anyways, let's read the blurb, which I kind of almost threw out. Thankfully I didn't. So this contains, uh, it's, it's called a treasure chest. So carry your collection anywhere or share a giant Pokemon grab bag with a fan. This sturdy metal case contains a variety of po special Pokemon treasures, including many not found anywhere else. So it contains five Pokemon trading card booster packs. Um, I think it contains like the original X and Y series. Uh, it may contain Furious Fist. I think it contains Phantom Force as well. And there's one other one which I can never remember. Um, I think it's like the Flames one or the Blaze. I can't quite remember. A brilliant Blaze or something like that. Um, I opened it like a very long time ago too. Um, also contains a cool Pokemon coin. Three promo foil cards for Trico, Torchic and Mudkip. Two sticker sheets including Legendary Pokemon which is kind of cool. Um, a mini album to store your favourite cards. Um, there's a few things that kind of do that as well. I think the starter packs or the beginner ones that are uh, aimed at beginners to try and get into, they I think they tend to have those type of albums as well. A Pokemon notepad which is kind of cool. Four pencils with unique Pokemon designs and a bonus code for the Pokemon trading card game online. Which I also do want to get into but more stream wise rather than these type of videos. Alright, we got that out of the way so let's crack into what actually is in here, so let's open up this chest of goodies. So when we open it up, this is what we get. So as you can see, there's the promo, uh, sorry, they're not promo cards. Normally they're promo, but they're not this time. So uh, I am assuming this is from the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire series. I have no idea what that's called because I stopped collecting and buying these after Phantom Force, I do believe. So I've been out of this for a very long time. So you might have to forgive me if some of these, I do get a lot of the terminologies wrong because so much has changed in the TCG since I have left. So I'm taking that out because that's mine. Um, these could very well be part of Soaring Sky as well. As I said, I, I don't know what series these are from. So there's our Mudkip. It comes with Tackle, Mud Slap. Um, quite a decent start, I guess, for a, a basic Pokemon. Ember is kind of like your typical Fire Starter uh, basic card. Although, if there is any other Torchic variants, I would probably use that over this particular variant, only because of Ember being uh, wanting to discard cards. Unless, of course, there's been something type of support card from the, uh, 
Oh my god, I wish I could remember the series because that could have very well have a very nice support card to it. I'll look over it after this video and I'll probably end up leaving something on the screen as well to back me up on that one. And then of course Trico with Quick Attack. Again, nice simple variant uh, grass basic card there. And there of course is our coin. I have so many of these coins it's not funny. Oh, I don't really want to take out the plastic either. So if we take that out as you can see, it's got Pikachu, it's all shiny. As I said, I've got so many of these from how many theme decks I've opened in the past. So there we go, there's our uh, three starter cards. I'm gonna put these somewhere. So you probably don't clean up your desk before you start doing these. Got stuff everywhere, so I've got no room. All right, next up is the actual car uh, booster packs themselves. So we've got one from Phantom Force. Flashfire, that's what it's called. Flashfire, thank goodness there was a booster pack with that. Um, Face on it. Flashfire probably has support for that uh, Torchic card, most likely. If I recall, there is a card that can rec uh, recall energy cards from the uh, discard pile. All right, so there are our five cards. We have one from Phantom Forces, two from Phantom Force, one from Furious Fist, one from Flashfire, and one from X and Y Base. All right, so let's have a look at the rest of it. So take out more plastic. I love how they just fill these things with plastic. So. Here's our pencils. Uh, I'm assuming they're all cheapo pencils, so they're probably just for show now. Um, I don't usually use pencils like these, so I, I guess that's kind of cool. Um, these are our sticker sets by the looks of it. So we've got a Trico, Tortic, and Mudkip sticker collection. Then we've got the energy cards, of course. So I could probably... Ooh, actually, I might be able to use these for something. I've got something coming in the mail very soon, so I might cover that using those stickers. Um, then we got the Primal Kyogre and the Primal Groudon stickers as well. Again, not very really too sure I can use them for. I guess it's kind of novelty there. Um, wow, that is actually a big notepad. Uh, when they said notepad, I wasn't expecting that. And I think I broke it. Oh, look, it's already, it's already broken. If I can get a zoom on it, which, there we go. Look, it's already broken. Ah, see, El Cheapo stuff. Still, as I said, kind of cool novelty um, when I'm running down stuff for Wi-Fi battles. I guess that's going to come in handy. What else have we got in here if there is anything else? I don't think they mentioned anything else for us. Oh, there's more stuff. Oh yeah, the album. So if I can get that out. Right, so there is the card album. Now that I've finally got everything out of the chest, we can say goodbye to that chest. Alright, so here is the card album, so it's all in plastic and everything. Uh, it's about the size I thought it would be. You only, and I guess it's really nice cheap card albums, you want to keep all your um, foils, rare foils and all that in. Um, other than that, I tend to go, go for the Ultra Pro folders, they're probably the best folders you can go for for the Pokemon TCG if you want to display cards for trades and all that. As I said, these are great if you've got a small collection, but if you've got a massive collection like I do, these get used in one opening. That's that's all they're really used for. Like I'd probably put in like full arts and everything in here, stuff like that that I really, really like. That probably works. Otherwise, if you're really serious about TCG, I'd go for the Ultra Pro folders. You tend to find them at your local stores or online, things like Troll and Toad. Um, where I normally buy my codes are things we tro Troll and Toad. They do stuff like that. Um, there's something like Pokevolt as well. They do things as well. Side note, not sponsored. These are just from personal experience as well. Alright, so we've covered all the novelty stuff that that covers. So let's get into these. So I have already... I think I've most. I think I finished Base X and Y. I think I finished Flashfire. I may be missing a few cards from that series. I can't really run up to in Furious Fist, to be honest. I think I've got most of that done. So I'm gonna open up these three first and just see what I pull. Because I haven't looked at my TCG collection in like two years, I could probably still get a surprise out of it. So let's just see how this goes. All right. So moment of truth. So. 10 cards in each of these booster packs, and of course you get your promo code for the TCG online. As I said, I will get it back into that. Alright, so we have a funnel buy to begin with. As I said, very basic uh, colorist card there. Trying to get my focus here. 
So Funnel By, Sand Dial, Voltorb, Skiddo, Scudderbug, uh, Reverse Hollow Cloister. Cloister is pretty cool. So that comes with Clamp Crush and Spike Cannon. And then we have, oh look, a non holo Molama. How awesome is that? Max Revive, Ink and Frogadier are our, all our cards for that particular one. So nothing really that amazing for that one. Max Rever uh, the Reverse Holo Oyster is probably the best that we got there. So I'll just put that to the side. Uh, next up we'll do Flash Fire, which is next in the series. So I think my X, Y, then Flash Fire, and then Furious Fist were the ones in order, and then Phantom Force was the following set after that, and then after that, as I said, I kind of pulled out, so my knowledge from there is pretty dismal. Alright, so from the Flash Fire we have Gumi, Esper, Binnacle, Sveal, Caterpie, oh look, I have so many of these, it's not funny, Reverse Hollow, Lido, uh, Litlio, which is common, Furret is the rare, apparently, Floatit, Luxio, and Rapidash. Alright, so again, nothing really that amazing in that deck, kind of, if anything, that was actually kind of average. Not even that. Alright, that was that one. So last but not least is Fury Fist. Uh, I actually have no recollection of this collection at all, so yes, it's going to be interesting. So again, taking out the promo card. Alright, so first off we have Scraggy, Shroomish, Makahita, Minum, Shelmet, Reverse Holo Shroomish. Again, really basic, we just tackle. Oh, look, another non holo Gothitelle. I know that one comes in holo because I think I actually do have that one. But cards until you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, which is great if they've got great draw power or if they're a milling deck as well. Things that focus on, like, uh, I think it's like Professor Sakamore and all that for this particular uh, era of cards. As I said, I can't quite remember everything now from this era. Tyrun and Gotharita are the cards we got from that one. Again, kind of your average draw there. Battle Reporter is, I, I would assume, is quite decent. Again, need citation there because I kind of, as I said, I never really did the competitive side of this particular um, base decks because I stopped doing it after Flash Fire, I do believe. All right, now we're doing the Phantom Force. So I never actually opened up Phantom Force before, so these are all brand new to me. So let's just see what we got in this particular set. All right, so starting off with the Murkrow, which is kind of cool. I do like my Murkrows. Ambush, flip a coin of heads, this attack does 10 damage more. Wing attack, with, uh, a dark energy and two colorless, 30 damage. Kind of cool. If um, Hunch Crow has a decent card there, that'd be pretty cool. Swirlix with Lick Away and Tackle. Minion with Pound. That'd be a nice one if um, Luminion has decent attacks. Dedian, Flip a Coin and Spiral Drain. Yeah, I guess that's a nice filler card, I guess. Uh, the Pokemon I can never pronounce. Alola Mola. Super Deep Dive. Heal 30 damage for each this Pokemon switch is po with one, one of your bench Pokemon. It sounds very similar to U turn. Actually, quite nice. And then Surf for 80 damage there for 4 energy. Reverse Hollow being Bunnel by. Oh, didn't I just draw one of those very earlier? I think they only had Dig though. Alright, our rare is Golvantula, so I forgot to take that out. Golvantula with Cobweb Trips, which one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with your opponent's active Pokemon. The new active Pokemon bit, uh, is now confused and electro the depending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. I guess that's alright. Probably a lot. Oh, Double Colorist! Nice! I, I do like my double color race, always makes things worthwhile. And Kingler, with Crab Hammer and Qu Guard Claw. So during your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks will reduced by 20. Nice, that's always nice for, um, to stall, I guess. Gengar Spirit Link, your turn does not end if the Pokemon this card is attached to becomes Mega Gengar EX. So normally when you, uh, Mega Revolve, I do believe your turn ends from the top of my head. Again, I don't remember the rules for Mega Revolving, but that's the thing. So I need to look up the rules again. Um, I think, what's this? You attach a Pokemon tool to one of your Pokemon, doesn't really have a Pokemon tool attached to it. Oh, they changed the rules for tools, because I remember back in the day you can have like multiple tools attached to a Pokemon, which is why things like Trubish were so strong back in the day, um, back in like uh, fifth generation. Alright, that's one. 
leaving us with the last pack of um, this one here. So let's just see how it goes. And yes, I did forget to zoom in. Uh, that'll be fixed in obviously future of card openings. I am kind of experimenting at this point in time because it's been so long since I've done openings. All right, so starting off with the bronzer. Krabby. No, I, I guess that'd be decent because Kingla had Crab Hammer as well for 100. Not too bad, not too bad. Gumi. So Gooey, he'll 10 damage from this Pokemon and tackle. I'm assuming Gudra would be quite decent. T most times Dragons can be really decent. Ah, Chansey. Not that Chansey has some really good uh, supportive moves, but not this time around. Um, if you don't have exactly 7 cards, you know, this attack does nothing. Damn, really? Okay. Hopefully Blissey's got a better um, support than that. Swaddle. Uh, our reverse holo is hand scopes. Your opponent reveals his or her hand. That'd be nice for some interference. Ah, Crobat being our rare. Again, not a holo. Alright, so Crobat has the ability Surprise Bite. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to uh, evolve one of your Pokemon, you may put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Cool. Um, it's then Skill Dive. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply a weakness. I guess that's really nice for bench damage too, because that does uh, also applies to bench Pokemon. So they retreat a Pokemon, you can attack that and knock that out and potentially pick up a prize card too. So as I said, like because I'm not aware of what this deck runs, I can't really com uh, comment on how you would potentially run this in a strategy at the same time as well. I can't remember all the cards as well. So I've got another Gangda Spirit Link as well. Steel Shelter. Each Steel Pokemon, both yours and your opponent, can't be affected by any special conditions, move any special conditions affecting those Pokemon. Nice. So in things like Burn, Confuse, Paralysis, um, Poison as well, that wouldn't be affected. Nice. I'm guessing those type of things are quite common. And then Target Whistle, Team Flare Gear. Put a basic Pokemon from your opponent, discard, pile into his or her bench. Now there has to be a reason for that, whether that be um, combining it with like Crobat or another Pokemon that can potentially attack the bench, because as we all know, basic Pokemon tend to have very low health, like example Swaddle has 50 for example, Gumi has 50, Litleo uh, Lit has 60, Shroomish has 60 as examples, Bronzor has 50, Krabby has 70, things like that with low HP. You could potentially bring them back to the bench and then maybe finish them off with a bench move. Um, I'm guessing that's a strategy involving around attacking the bench. So that's quite interesting. And that's our last card, unfortunately. So there we go. There is our Pokemon Oris treasure chest opening. I do believe we're going to be calling this or something. I need to find the exact name for it, but... As I said, I do want to bring back TCG openings. They do make me really... I, I do enjoy doing these, so I'll try and put as much as it as I can into doing these type of videos. Obviously, they'll be on a Thursday, so there won't be like a major thing on this channel, just like a once a week thing. And I've got so many to open too, so that's a thing to look forward to. So, as I said, we kind of could have gone for some better cards, but... Hey, my, my luck's never really that good with TCG anyways. I pull a really good card once in a blue moon. So that's going to be a thing. Um, so yeah, obviously I will make some improvements to these particular openings. Example, remembering to zoom in on the cards when I'm actually opening. And then I'll have like some, hopefully some special stuff popping up on the side as well that I'll edit in post recording and everything. And hopefully at the same time this microphone sounds alright for you guys. As I said, I did kind of upgrade the microphone for these particular um, videos, same with the nether block as well, that'll be applied to that, and a few things down the track as well, so fingers crossed that sounds really good, I'm really hoping that sounds alright for you guys. So anyways, that's pretty much it for me, so there will be nether block or another TCG opening next week. There is something else I do also want to bring to the channel, but that involves a bit of work, and it's not exactly something easy I can whip up in a couple of minutes either, so I'm going to try and work on that and see if I can make that a thing as well. It's something I do want to try and bring into the channel. I'm not saying what it is, I don't, have, don't want any spoilers. The only spoiler I will give it is, it is kind of non-Pokemon related, but I do want to give it a go. Anyways, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, this is Lady Crimson saying, ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!